Hey guys, welcome to uh, Daily DSA Practice and the questions which we have picked today is find first missing positive number, right? It's a hard level question, but it's a very tricky question. I won't say it's very hard, but it's a very tricky solution is very easy, right? But as I already told you that getting up to an answer is not important. The whole process is important. So what we have to follow is we have to first find the use cases, brute force approach, it's time complexity, space complexity. Then we have to go for efficient approach, time complexity, space complexity, write a clean code. And during whole whole process, we have to think out loud, right? So with that approach, we have to follow in today's question also. Okay, so let's go and check the question. Find first missing positive number. So the question is you are given an unsorted array, right? You are given an unsorted array and with within this unsorted array, you have to find the first missing positive number. First missing positive number. What is the time complexity is the expected O of N and this is time complexity and space complexity is big O of 1. So, but let's say keep this aside for now. We will slowly grow from brute force to efficient, right? But this is the question. Let's take one example, which interviewer might give you very simple example. Generally interview will give, for example, it will give unsorted, right? So it will give, let's say four, uh, one, two, right? So this is the array and what would be the, so this is my num array. What would be the output? here three because three is the first missing positive number right so interviewer will give you only this example now you have to first identify all the use cases this is very important right so let's understand that find out all the missing use cases okay so now let's say that use case one What if negative is there? Let's say what if it is uh, minus two and uh, one, four, one, two, same, but negative is also there, right? So what would be the output here? So output here would be then uh, again, one, two, again, output would be three only. Here, so you should be clarified with the interval. Why? Why not zero? Because zero is neither positive, neither positive, neither negative. So when we are saying right, missing positive number. So missing positive number means greater than zero. So we have to first clarify with this use case, right? So don't code, don't think that okay zero will be a positive clarify right so first use case is negative even if it is negative we don't say that okay minus two after that zero will come so this will be first positive no so greater than zero so it would be one two three is missing so it would be three okay what second use case uh, nothing is missing in array for example, four, uh, four, one, three, two. Now it's, if you see, it's all is there one, two, three, four. So what is the next missing number minimum output would be five, right? Because one, two, three, four, all are there. So next would be five. So you got it. So you have to identify this missing use case. So find the use cases first. Okay. Now second brute force approach. Okay, so even if you know big go of one and big go of one solution, I would always say that go take the interviewer from the brute force approach this thing. So first approach, let's take an uh, input of uh, a simple four, one, two, simple example, right? Okay, so what would be the brute force first? Uh, I'm thinking is let's say what would be the minimum? Minimum is always minimum positive is always greater than zero. So it would be one, right? So you iterate over a whole array. 
वन इज देयर ओके यू फाउंड येस वन इज देयर देन यू इंक्रीमेंटेड मिनिमम इक्वल्स टू टू चेक द होल एरे अगेन इज टू इज देयर येस टू इज देयर देन इंक्रीमेंट दिस थ्री चेक ए होल एरे इज थ्री इज देयर राइट इफ थ्री इज नॉट देयर सो मिनिमम एरे इज थ्री आंसर ओके सो हेयर इफ यू सी दैट वॉट वुड बी द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी राइट सो कैन यू टेल मी द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन फॉर दिस वन राइट इट्स ईजी राइट सो फॉर ईच टिल द मिनिमम इज नॉट फाउंड राइट वी हैव टू इटरेट जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम वी हैव टू इटरेट आई टोल्ड यू राइट फोर वन थ्री टू नथिंग इज मिसिंग सो वी हैव टू मैक्सिमम इटरेट एन टाइम्स सो एन इन टू एन बिग गो ऑफ एन स्क्वायर ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट ब्रूट फॉर अप्रोच सेकेंड एंड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज बिग गो ऑफ वन हेयर सेकेंड अप्रोच लेट से आई विल सॉर्ट इट सो वेन यू सॉर्ट इट हेयर फोर वन टू सो फर्स्ट इज सॉर्टिंग सो सॉर्ट आफ्टर दैट एरे विल बिकम वन टू फोर राइट after that iterate after that iterate and find the minimum what is the uh, time complexity big go of n log n right so that is also little bit improve but we can improve further A space complexity here is if we sort the same array so it would be big go of 1 third approach third approach would be let's say little bit more efficient from n log n is let's say i'll take one space complexity uh, 412 let's say i am taking one space uh, 0 1 2 3 till 4 the maximum value so one is there yes one is there two is there yes two is there zero i don't want to consider itself four is there yes right now iterate now when you iterate so you have to just see which one is the missing number so this one is the missing number so output would be 3 is time complexity big go of n space complexity your the maximum value right so what is the maximum value it can have that would be the space complexity in this one the this one but one good thing is we have come till big go of n what was that but now the problem is space complexity has to be improved now in the space complexity we have to improve and we know that we cannot take extra space so one thing we should trigger is can we use the same space of the array given in the input right so now let's say that this is the efficient approach which i am telling you now so it was 412 right so now i have to 012 right so now i have to use the same input array and somehow i need to find out the minimum okay so now let's say 4 right so one thing you should notice that our minimum would be either so zero is considered as let's say one it would be always be plus one right so array is started from zero but actually it is one so either it would be either one or this two three right and if all number is there the next minimum would be the this one four plus one right so that's the only possible uh, minimum could be either one if, if either this is missing either this is missing either this is missing right but even if let's say 9 is there 10 is there we don't even care about this so if after this 3 it would be 4 which is missing right you got it so using this property we can find one solution here like let's say first 4 is coming right for 4 so index is starting from 0 so 4 minus 1 so index 3 we can see okay but we have to only look for 0 1 2 only 3 because the length is 3 array length is 
थ्री राइट सो वी हैव टू लुक लाइक ओके नाउ द वैल्यू इज फोर राइट कैन आई मार्क समथिंग लेट से आई एम मार्क द मार्किंग विच आई एम चूजिंग इज मेकिंग द नंबर नेगेटिव दैट येस दिस इज विजिटेड राइट सो नाउ द नंबर इज एरे इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो सो फोर मीन्स कैन आई मार्क थर्ड इंडेक्स एज नेगेटिव बट इफ यू सी द लेंथ इज ओनली थ्री सो इट वुड बी टिल टू ओनली सो नो यू कैन नॉट मार्क इट राइट सो वी विल स्किप इट फॉर नाउ सो नाउ लेट्स लीव इट कम हेयर now it will come as 1 so 1 minus 1 0 index so this is index because index are starting from 0 so 1 so we have to take out its index so it would be minus 1 0 so yes it is within our range so we will make it a negative whatever the value is so negative indicate that this has been encountered means one has been encountered then we reach till 2 so 2 minus 1 index become 1 so we will check at index 1 whatever the value is we will make it minus 1 this indicate that index has been encountered and we reach till end now we will iterate over this we will see okay negative means index is 0 right so means plus 1 this is already encountered this is also negative already encountered this is not negative means 2 plus 1 3 is not encountered not encountered because when 3 is encountered then 3 minus 1 index this would become negative but this didn't become negative right so means 3 is not encountered so answer is 3 right so this is the solution which i am going to use and also one more thing i want to tell you like how we can handle the negative here let's say minus 1 right and uh, let's say 4 2 1 so what is the length currently 1 2 3 4 length is 4 so as i already told you the minimum positive number it's always be greater than 0 so means negative number and zero does not add value anything right so if nothing is missing let's say the two case minus 1 then 1 2 let's say this is 3 if nothing is missing in the length so length is 4 so now minus 1 can any time it would be a minimum positive value no so what is the best next number it can happen is length plus 1 so we can put 5 here we can change it to 5 because negative and zero do not add value anything right so we can change it to that okay the length is 4 if we add it plus 1 this could be the next possible solution possible solution right it cannot be but it's a possible so now let's say minus uh, 5 3 2 1 so index is 0 1 2 3 right so this is now 0 1 2 3 so now we are iterating from here 0 1 2 3 5 so index would be 5 minus 1 4 does 4 is, is present no so we can't uh mark it negative the whatever the value index is otherwise index out of bound exception will come now we will reach till 3 3 minus 1 2 so in the 2 will make it negative then we'll reach here it is 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so we will make it negative then we'll reach here 1 1 minus 1 0 index will make it negative now we'll iterate from here okay zeroth index is negative one index is negative second index is negative third index is not negative so when the third index will become negative for 4 right plus 1 right so 4 is the output so here time complexity is big go of n and space complexity is big go of 1 right so you got it right so now let's code for it okay so now i am taking first 
the length length of nums equals to nums array dot length then i am removing zero and uh, negative values with next possible solution right it could be possible uh, possible positive value i would say that okay so here i am iterating over index is starting from 0 till index is less than your length of nums index plus plus right so here if nums of array index is less than equals to 0 then in nums of array at the same index i will replace it with the next possible value right that is the only possible way it answer can come to that price so now i am again iterating over the array index less than length of nums index plus plus now what i have to check is uh, the this part we have to do right whatever the value comes in we have the appropriate index we have to mark the negative right so first we have to take the value what is the value is uh, math dot absolute nums array of index what if already it is the negative so we have to take the positive if value is greater than zero and value is less than equals to length of nums then only we have to go because here it could be 200 also let's say array is 200 1 2 so we can't go to like 200 index otherwise we will get index out of bound exception so i will told you right the minimum positive would be here from this three or if this three is completely filled the next one right so if it is greater than the length we don't have to consider itself so nums array if it is within a range i have to uh, go to because index is starting from zero so that's why i am taking right so i have to take math put the same value but negate it minus one into and put the same value whatever the value it is present here right so now i have to just iterate one more time right so here i need to take index above index less than your length of nums index plus plus now i have to just check if nums array of index is greater than zero means it is positive means greater than zero means that index hasn't come so i have to return index plus one and another possibility is that it crossed everything so it's like four one three two so means everything will become negative one become this negative four become zero one two three four minus one so this will become negative this will become negative this will become negative four one three two so it will reach till end then what would be the next number five right so index would be index plus one okay so that's the solution it's a pretty uh, simple question but the little bit logic is different but all i wanted to tell you is that before going to the efficient approach even if you know it try to follow this pattern okay guys see you tomorrow thank you and bye